Hello, Nick Jones here and welcome along to a hit session at the Lakeside Fitness Studio. Before you get started, please read the disclaimer in the description box below. And as always, if you are enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel, it really helps me. Like, comment, share, whatever. Apart from that, let's get to it. So we're just gonna start the warm up with some swinging of the arms side to side. Some active stretches to start with. Then we're going to slowly lift the heart rate as the warm-up goes on. Now forwards and backwards with the arms, so arms nice and straight. And just kind of like marching arms. Now a warm-up for the rotator cuff, arms out straight to your side, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs That's up, right thumbs down. Just switch them over. Then we're going to warm up the tricep, marching arms, but touch the back of your neck each time. This makes you bend your elbow and warm up the tricep and bicep. Next up, just some torso twists. So just twisting your shoulders and upper body in relation to your hips. This is warming up the back. Let's go. Okay, now little jog. Then knee up towards the chest and then just hold it for a second and then switch the sides. Little jog, hold the knee. Little jog, hold the other knee. Again, we're just slowly going to lift the heart rate now. Halfway there. Okay, so now up. So open the gate. So knee up towards your chest, then circle round, then hit a little squat, then do the other leg. Just warming up the hips and slowly starting to get that heart rate up. In a sec, we're going to switch directions. So we're going to go around the gate now. So start out wide and then bring it to the center of your body and then hit the squat in between each leg. Let's go. Active stretches just gets every body part moving. Now next up, we're going to do some walk out. So from toes, then walk down onto the floor, kind of out into press up position, walk back in, then hands up towards the ceiling or sky in my case. Halfway right there. now, reverse lunge with a little twist. Okay, so just a gentle reverse lunge, don't have to go too deep. And then if your left leg's forward, left twist. If your right leg's forward, right twist. Ten seconds. Just this and some jumping jacks to go. And then we're gonna be nice and warm, ready to go. So just a few jumping jacks, 10 seconds. Rest. And that's it, finish there. Now let's get ready to start the hip workout. So our first move is going to be push-up retractions. It's like a normal push-up, but where your chest goes all the way down onto the floor, and then you just lift your hands off the floor at the bottom, then push back up. Make sure your bum stays up nice and high as you push back up off the floor. As an easier option, do it from knees, same procedure. Or if that's still too difficult, don't go quite as deep, don't go quite down and touch the floor, and don't worry about the retraction. Apart from that, I like to set these hip workouts a little bit too tough. Therefore, there's always that room for improvement. Apart from that, just try and get as many reps in each 45 seconds as you can. 10 seconds. Lastly, we are going to be following the timer. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. For the timing, I do use an app called SmartWad. It's free and super simple to use. 45 seconds done, rest there. Next move is gonna be our lat pull down skydiver. You're gonna roll your towel up. You're gonna try and pull it apart. Then you're gonna try and get your thighs and your chest in the air. Start with your arms nice and straight, and then just pull the towel down towards your chin. Squeeze your lats on the side of your back, and then slowly move out back up to the top. So so pull down, squeeze the lats, then straighten the arms. Try and stay in the air the whole time if you can, but to make it easier, just do as many reps as you can at a time, then go down onto the floor, take a break, and then go back in. Again, try and push it as hard as you can. We're starting with two power moves to slowly lift the heart rate before we get into the real heart rate lifting exercises. 10 seconds. 
That's it, try and stay up the whole time if you can. Hang on as long as you can. Three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest, our next move. You're gonna move the mat, we're gonna do our bunny hops. It's where you squat down nice and deep, jump with a little heel kicker in the middle. If that's too difficult, don't do the heel kicker. If that's still too difficult, or you don't want any impact on your knees, just do your normal body weight squat. I'll demonstrate the options as we go. So there's the easiest. And then there's the middle one, just with the straight jump. If you're doing these right, these should really get your legs and jack your heart rate up. This heel kicker squat is super tough. Just make sure your chest is staying up nice and tall as you're bending your legs. You don't want to be tipping forward from the hips and not bending at the knee. You want to bend those knees, activate those legs, keep the chest up tall so you're not using your lower back. 10 seconds. But again, it's only as hard as you make it. You can coast the workout if you like, or if you want the most out of it, really push it. Rest. Next up is gonna be our pistol squats. These are quite tricky. I'm still getting used to them myself. You will need a box or a step or a chair or something. To make it easier, the higher the chair. To make it harder, the lower the chair. So you can go squat down one leg at a time, keeping one leg out straight in front of you. I'm demonstrating a bit of an easier option to start with where you completely sit down on whatever you're going down towards. But if it is too difficult, just hit your normal body weight squats and just try and get as many in the time as you can. If not, this is the harder option now where you just lightly touch the box, keep all the weight in that heel still. Halfway These really there. get the glutes and really work the legs. And then just find the rhythm, then try and go as fast as you can whilst maintaining good form. 10 seconds. Rest. So rest there. Next up, we're gonna get that heart rate up as high as we can with some mountain climbers. You're gonna go down into press up position, then you're gonna do a high knee sprint from the press up position. To make it as hard as possible, go as fast as you can with only light touches at the back as if you are doing a high knee sprint like I'm doing. Or if not, feel free to slow it down a little bit if you are struggling and kind of step it out. Apart from that, go as fast as you can. Try and get as many steps in the time as you can whilst keeping the hips and shoulders in a nice straight line. You don't want the hips Halfway above there. the shoulders or you don't want them below the shoulders. This is a move, it's super simple, super easy to do. It's now just a case of how hard can you push yourself? How high can you get that heart rate? rest there so i like to balance the physique so we've done a kind of move for the pushing muscles now we're going to do a move for the back muscles you're going to lie down all the way on your front arms and legs nice and straight and then you're going to swim opposite arm opposite leg keeping everything in the air if you can okay so keep the chest and the thighs in the air if you can and then just swim the arms and legs like so if that is just too difficult feel free to slow it down i'll demonstrate the option where you're just going Opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. Here is the easier option. Or if you've got any lower back problems and you're feeling it's really difficult, this one, maybe just stick with this easier option or don't do it at all. But this is a really difficult one. You're working every muscle on the back of the body, the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back, the upper back, the rear of the shoulders. It's a really good one. And a good one for posture, long term. Rest there. Next up, we're gonna do our reverse lunge jumps. So you're gonna have one leg out in front whilst the other leg steps backwards, nice and deep. Get the rear knee as near to the ground as you can. Then as you bring the knee through, bring the knee all the way through and jump at the top, staying on the same leg. So my left leg staying forward, right leg is going backwards down and then up with a jump. If that is too difficult for you, Feel free to just do the step without the jump. This one is a bit of a tricky one in terms of balance. Just make sure you keep your eyes in one place and make sure that front knee doesn't go up in front of the tongue of your shoelaces. But apart from that, just try and find a rhythm or hold onto the wall next to you and then go as fast as you can. 10 seconds.
So that one's a nice tough one, really gets into the glutes and into the legs and lifts the heart rate. We're now just gonna switch the sides. So remember, knee doesn't travel over the tongue of your shoe. Nice big step backwards, get that knee as near to the ground at the back as you can, and then push it through up with a jump. Remember, ignore the jump if you're struggling with it. But if you're not, find a rhythm and then slowly try and pick the pace up. The more you can get in the time, the better, but make sure that rear knee is almost scraping the floor. And make sure the front knee doesn't go over the tongue of the shoe. Okay, so rest there. Next up, we're gonna do a final cardio move which involves all of the body, the upper body and the lower body. It's the squat thrust. So press up position, then you're gonna jump both legs in all the way up as near to your chest as you can, and then jump the legs all the way back into press up position. This one is a super tricky one, really gets the heart rate up as we're using all of the muscles in the body. And remember, if you're finding it too difficult, just slow it right down or kind of step it in and out and back. Apart from that, if you're finding it okay, just go as fast as you can, get as many reps in the time as you can, but just notice how far in and how far out I'm jumping each time. That's the key to finding this one hard. If you just do small jumps, you won't find it too bad. So final 10 seconds of the final cardio move. After this, we're gonna be going to abs. So push, 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 all the way through to the finish. Race through the finish, not up to it. Rest there. Next up, we're gonna hit some abs. We are gonna do some side V sits. So what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be led on your side, one arm out at a 90 degree angle to stabilize. Then stretch everything out nice and long and then lift everything up and reach for your toes. You can kind of do it with straight legs like I was doing to start with, or you can do this option where you bend your knees in round towards your chest and reach for the ankles that way. Straight legs is gonna be harder, bent legs is gonna be a little easier. Halfway if you there. are doing the bent leg option, make sure your knees are moving. So you're bringing your knees up right up towards your chest. And then as everything's going back down, extend your knees and your legs out completely Ten straight. Seconds. Apart from that, just nice big pauses, big squeezes, try and flex those abs, work them as hard as you possibly can. Rest. Finish there. Next up, we're just gonna roll onto the other side. I flip round completely, just to keep facing the camera. But you can just roll onto the other side. I'm gonna do exactly the same move, but for the other side. So either straight legs, an arm above the head, get everything out nice and long and straight, and then try and lift everything up and try and touch your toes. Or go for that bent leg option like I'm doing now, but if you notice, my knees are moving as far in, as far out, as far in, as far out. So the goal isn't just to touch the foot, it's about getting those knees coming in and out. If you're doing the bent leg option. Halfway there. If you're doing the straight leg option, get those knees as high as you can up into the air, then get them then get them all the way back down afterwards. This is what I call a high energy ab move. Uh, it's quite a big movement to work the abs, which is quite good for keeping up that heart rate, keeping the calorie burn going from the cardio moves earlier. Rest. And rest there. Okie doke, next up what we're gonna do is our single leg holds. So what you're gonna do is lie on your back, arms nice and straight above your head. Slight bend in the legs. One foot stays on the floor at all times. And then you just Let's reach go. up, lift one leg, try and hold onto the leg with your hands, crunch your shoulder blades up off the ground. Nice big pause, big squeeze. Hold onto the leg for a second or two at the top, then go back down and then switch the legs. So stretch out, crunch up, hold onto the leg for a couple of seconds, switch the leg. Big pause, big squeeze Halfway each time there. on the abs. This move is there to kind of work the abs, but also give the hip flexors a little bit of a break to make sure you're not feeling it in the hip flexors more than you are the abs. As the next move is gonna be nice and challenging to the finish. Rest. 
rest there. So next up is going to be our single leg drops. You can do this with a weight or without a weight in the hands. You get arms and legs nice and straight up above you. And then you're going to drop one leg as you drop your arms down towards the floor. Let's go. Then everything back up. Reach for the toes. Big pause, big squeeze. Then drop the other leg. So if you ever get confused on this one, start everything up at the top. Then drop three quarters of your limbs, everything up at the top, reach for your toes, then drop three quarters of your limbs again, but drop the other leg. So this is going to be our hardest move to the finish Halfway for the there. abs. Then we're going to stretch, call it a day there. So up, make sure at the top position, you're getting your shoulder blades as high as you can off the ground. Big pause, big squeeze. Perfect. Okay, finish there. That'll do nicely. Abs done. And we're just going to hit some stretches to the finish. We are going to start off with our pencil stretch. So assume this position I'm in at the moment. Arms and legs nice and straight above and behind you on your back. So pull yourself as long as you can, as thin as you can like a pencil. Suck in the tummy. Nice big stretch of the abs. Okay, so bring a knee in, give the back a break. Now sit up onto your bum. You're gonna cross your legs, one underneath the other. Chest up nice and tall, and then just walk your hands out slowly. And you should feel a nice stretch through the hips and the lower back. This, I really like this stretch because it stretches everything that attaches to the SI joint, which is where the spine meets the pelvis, where a lot of people get pain. And yeah, so it's just a really good lower back stretch and hip stretch. If your knees are miles in the air on this one or you're struggling to touch the floor, it may be a stretch to work on. Okay, now just uh, from that position, straighten your legs and keep them at a 45 degree angle out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your chest up nice and tall and just lean forward and stretch your hamstrings. So the most important thing is with this is just keep the chest up tall and then just go as far as you feel you can. You don't have to touch your toes. And then next up, you're gonna hit your quad stretch. So just lie on your side, heel to bum, and then try and push that hip nice and far forward. You try and wanna get that hip out in front of the knee. You want to really pull that knee back and get the heel right up to the bum to get the most out of this stretch. Then just roll onto the other side. Quad stretch again. So just lying on your side, heel to bum. Try and push that hip nice and far forward and keep the knee nice and far back. If you do want a bit more of a stretch after today's session, I do have more. I do have some longer stretch routines elsewhere on my channel, uh, especially ones around the hips and the lower back. But yeah, so feel free to check them out afterwards if you like. Or oh, there's some other workout videos on here. There's longer versions of this one. And there's also some more specific muscle ones. Okay, next up, we're gonna go for child's pose. So feet together, knees apart, hands up nice and straight and together. So arms nice and straight, hands together at the top. And just sink back towards your ankles. It's gonna stretch your hips, your lower back, the muscles underneath your armpits, your postural muscles, your lats. It's gonna open up your chest, stretch your shoulders, everything. Okay, it's a really good one. And it's a good postural stretch and good for just everywhere else. Then just a final one, hands to the base of the spine. Try and pull your elbows towards each other. Lift your chest, look up towards the sky or ceiling and stretch out your chest. Super important muscle to stretch off after press ups and things to maintain a good posture. But apart from that, if you did enjoy that episode today, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It really helps support me ask any questions in the comments below and thank you very much see you next time